Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Trinidad to Boston and today I'm back for episode number three of my Percy Bunyan Be a Pro series here on NHL 16. So today we've got Percy Bunyan's NHL debut. So for that, let's kick it to Doc and Eddie. Greetings everyone along with Eddie Old Jack Ray Ferraro in a moment. I'm Mike Emrick and tonight we have a young man who's going to play his first game in the NHL. I can't imagine what that's like. You've arrived, Doc, and I can just relate of sitting in that locker room and playing your very first game in the National Hockey League. And so many things come across your mind. You think about your family, you think about your mom and dad, all the hours that they gave of their life to help you play the greatest game in the world. You think about the coaches, you think about the teams that you played for, and you look around the locker room and go, wow, I'm in a National Hockey League, and it's going to be an exciting night for that young fella. Wait a minute, you're telling me that whole spiel from Eddie was about Connor McDavid and not Percy Bunyan? Come on. All right, anyway, here we go now. The first action in the NHL for Percy Bunyan. He has got the puck here on the left end boards, and he's trying to circle this one back around the middle. Instead, I just dump it on the down the boards to Yakupov, who feeds it in front of Pouliot, but uh, his shot would be saved by Elliott. So, anyway, uh, Percy Bunyan, overall, his first start or his first game in the NHL was a bit of a rough one. He sort of was slow to get going, definitely still getting used to the pace in the NHL, and you can see his line gives up a goal here on the one-timer to the Blues, so they take a 2-0 lead a little more than midway through the first. Now, a nice defensive play by Bunyan. Fires one on net. That would be his first professional shot, but it would be saved by Elliott. So, here we go. 3-1 to one is the score now. Edmonton really not faring any better than Bunyan is in this game, and you can see this is going to be a bad injury for Pouliot. He gets down and does not look good there. We'll have to uh, keep an eye out for that, see if we get an update on Pouliot's uh, condition after the game. And then Bunyan coming up, and that's just a poor goal let in by Ben Scrivens, who got the start over Cam Talbot today. It was a little bit surprised to see that, but uh, either way, poor goal led in by Scrivens, then a bad turnover by Bunyan. Luckily, we get the puck back, but I can't get it through the defense. I tried to split the two defenders there, so really, Bunyan just not quite up to snuff here. Uh, he was not up for the task in his first game, made a couple of nice plays, but for the most part, really looked out of sorts, looked out of place, just didn't look like an NHLer, so, I mean, uh, and then there's another... Horrible goal let in by Ben Scrivens. I'm not even going to comment on that. I mean, we we know about this Oilers defense and the goaltending situation. I mean, as, you know, talking in the first person here, I, I'm honestly not too uh, disappointed. At first, I was thinking, oh, I really don't want to get drafted by the Oilers. It's a dumpster fire of an organization. But then I thought about all the line mates I could play with, guys like Taylor Hall, Nelly Yakupov, Benoit Pouliot, and I just figure, you know, if we win every game 6-5, to five, I'm really not going to complain. That might be a lot of fun, actually, so... Anyway, if we want to do that, though, we're going to have to uh, play a little bit better than we did in that first game. So you can see both Taylor Hall and Benoit Pouliot going down with injuries. Now, Hall would come back. Uh, as you can see, he would be all right, but he would get injured again after coming back too soon from his injury. So we simulate a couple games here. For the format for the series, I'm going to be playing two to three games an episode and uh, probably try to put out, you know, 10, 11 episodes a season. So you guys can do the math there. I want to simulate, you know, about two-thirds of the season or so and uh, I've, I've contemplating doing uh, a system that I've seen a lot of people do on YouTube and that is including uh, one of the big hockey youtubers 2BC Productions I believe is his channel name but uh, you know what he does is he usually simulates to the third period and then plays the third period of every game I don't know I think I might do it a little bit differently I think I'll just play you know closer to one full game for every three games played or something closer to that than uh, than what he does but anyway let me know what you guys think of that so we're taking on the Calgary Flames in what is game number five of our NHL career we've only got one point up to this point we get a big hit there early on so the tone being set hopefully things will go a little bit better than they did in our last game and you can see a couple big hits already so really like i said setting the tone and then we get a nice opportunity here but i sort of blow the pass unfortunately on the power play now of course this is a big rivalry in hockey the battle of alberta so we're going to try and do our city proud here and uh, take home bragging rights at least for today so here we go now in the second period only a one to nothing game so only one goal allowed by edmonton we get knocked down there big hit but we get the puck back and no one goes to the puck now we've got a good opportunity and it falls right off my stick horrible play by Bunyan right there and then the shot from the defenseman gets saved by the goalie Ramo so here we go now midway through the second period Percy gets the puck now bringing it up along the left side tries to feather that one through but gets knocked down again so still sort of running into some of the same issues just not quite up to speed not quite physical enough and then there we go bad call for pass leads to a goal for Calgary they take a two to nothing lead so I know I've got to make up for that one right now here we go that one is fired tried to get that one on it it's blocked by Bunyan but it goes through the legs of Ramo and it's the first NHL goal for Percy Bunyan a complete lucky goal here now 
Uh, my EASHL friends like Keegan and Jeremy will tell you that it's what we call an Ian goal. That was th Those are just the type of goals that I tend to score in this game. Sort of the lucky plays where you just get your stick on the puck and it trickles through and... I just sort of have a knack for getting goals like that, and uh, we call those Ian goals. So if you ever hear me refer to that or something as an Ian goal, now you know what it is. It's kind of something like that where it's just sort of a lucky goal. Unfortunately, Calgary answers back there. A nice play from Michael Froelich, the new free agent signing, puts Calgary up 3-1. to one. But here we go now, coming down. Again, I'm going behind the end boards. Try to feed that across, but Eberle couldn't get a stick on it. Luckily, I recover. Try to feed that one across again, but it gets stopped by Ramo. So a couple of good defensive plays from the Flames there prevent uh, what could have been an easy cross-crease opportunity from the Oilers. Now I'm bringing this one along. Try to bring it back to the middle. I end up going off sides here, but I'll keep the puck and then I'm going to bring it back into the zone here. Coming up the left side. Circle back around. Looking for some sort of lane. Incredible puck control. And then I sort of fire this one on net. It almost bounces over the goalie there. But Rama recovers and makes the save. So final 20 minutes of the game. Now we're in the third period. Bunyan bringing it up, up, up the middle here. Goes to the right. Feeds it back across and it goes in off of Dougie Hamilton. The new flame. The biggest offseason act position for this Calgary Flames team and he puts one in his own net once again I try to feather one across a little cross crease here Hamilton gets in the way and it just sort of goes off of his stick and then he almost looks like he deflected it back in so Bunyan now with a pair of goals here a couple of pretty lucky goals or a couple as we might refer to them as Ian goals then I get a good opportunity here completely out deke the defender I shoot it right into the pads of Ramos so here we go now bringing it up along the right boards and I try to get that one on net it looks like it just trickled off and unfortunately the Oilers could not get it done we fall to the flames three to two so we remain without a regulation win yet or a win period actually I think our record is now oh four and two or something after our first or oh four and one I want to say Oh, no, no, it's 0-3-2, that's what it is, after our first five games. But Bunyan does get the star of the game, the first star, so kind of encouraging stuff there. We suffer another loss to Vancouver before our next game. It is going to be against Detroit, and we've got Wednesday Night Rivalries, a new addition to NHL 16. You can get a look at some of the new presentation in this game on Wednesdays. This will show up for any game you play on a Wednesday, and a be a pro, a be a GM, or anything like that. You get the special cool little uh, presentation here, Wednesday Night Rivalries, which is, of course, something NBC does throughout the hockey season. And uh, it is pretty cool that they actually did add some presentation elements because the game's presentation, once again, is kind of subpar. Like, the replay angles are all really horrible. But still, I think the Wednesday Night Rivalry edition is a nice addition to NHL 16, despite Detroit versus Edmonton not being any kind of rivalry I've ever heard of. But nonetheless, we're getting the start for the second straight game, so in case you guys missed it, I showed off the lines after those couple of injuries uh, earlier in the episode. So we've got the uh, Yakupov, Bunyan, and Eberle line starting with Nugent Hopkins, and I think, I don't even know who else is playing on the second line, but really a depleted offensive lineup for the Oilers. And then check this goal out. Oh my god, are you kidding me, Oilers? I mean, this is just getting frustrating. I mean, look at this, Pavel Datsuk, a simple little slap shot. He's covered, too, and it goes five-hole right through, I think that was Talbot getting the start today. I, whatever. I mean, that is horrible. So, now we've got to answer back, already playing with a deficit. Good puck control here by Bunyan. Goes in front of the net. I tried to go around the goalie there, but a good stop by uh, Jimmy Howard. And now here we go, circling it back around. I got a nice goal like this in the Memorial Cup Finals, if you remember. I tried to go backhand there, but again, another nice stop from Howard. Here we retrieve the loose puck. I'm going to circle it back around, try to bring it through the neutral zone. I almost turn it over, get it back though, and here we go now, bringing it up the middle, I'm going to go to the left, try to feed one across, Yakupov scores! Nail Yakupov with a snipe on the one-timer from the slot, and he gets the Oilers on the board, and this game is knotted up at one. So a great start to the second period here, just 15 seconds into the second period, and I'm really excited to play with Yakupov on my line. I really hope he stays on my line throughout the rest of the season. He is a great sniper, despite, you know, kind of having a disappointing start to his career, he still has great offensive ability. So now uh, keep an eye on that clock. It says 1945 right now. We're going to start We're gonna start a stopwatch in the bottom right-hand corner, so we're going to see how long it takes for whatever's going to happen to happen. We'll see now bringing it up along the right, and we go back in and score Bunyan with two goals. In just over seven seconds, the Oilers have taken the lead. So there we go. It took literally two goals, eight seconds apart for the Oilers to get the lead. Bunyan had a major role in both of them. So he is really starting to feel himself now. Take a look at this right around the defender, Cronwall. And then he just dekes out the goalie, Howard, and scores it. So there we go now. little forehand, backhand. Nice move. And uh, it is Bunyan's, what, 
fourth career goal, I want to say now, after, I, it must be his third, actually, it must be scored one that I don't remember in the simulation, and then another nice little pass to the slot there, Yakupov thought he might have another one-timer, unfortunately could not put it home, but still a 2-1 to lead for Edmonton, and then a big hit on Brendan Smith as he tried to bring that one up through his own zone, instead, he got laid out by Bunyan here, I retrieve the puck in the corner now, trying to cycle it back around, looking for a passing lane of any sort, another great example of puck control, and Yakupov puts that one through the five hole, a weak goal led up by Jimmy Howard here. This one, not even a great setup from me. It was good puck control, like I said, but the pass and really even the shot, not a great one, but still, Yakupov puts it through the five hole of Howard on a weak goal led up here by the, uh, you know, the Team USA member, Jimmy Howard. As you can see, just goes right through five hole. I don't understand how that went through, but whatever. And here we go now, a nice defensive play by Eberle. We're going to bring this one up. I'm going to wait for Eberle to carry it through. And now Eberle tries to go inside out to me, and oh, I tried to get that one behind the goalie there, but unfortunately it goes off the end of the net. But it would not matter. The Oilers take home the victory by a final score of 4-2. to two. So we get our first win of the season, despite getting outshot. 35 to 27 the Oilers pick up the win and they will salute the crowd here at uh, I'm not even sure what the name of the Oilers arena is uh, what is it the Rexall Rexall place looks like or something I, I better look it up I don't know first star once again Scrivens with a good game as well despite that early week goal let in but anyway that's gonna do it so hope you guys did enjoy thanks for watching it doesn't matter peace